Hi. <laughs> I tried something new, and evidently I don't know how to use it yet. <clears throat> Did you get notified uh, way back when I put when I scheduled this, like I was fussing around with it at 3.35 or something? Is that when you thought I was coming on? Because you can schedule these, and I scheduled it for 4.05, hoping people would just come here at 4 o'clock, and then they would see the picture. See, I have a picture that's supposed to go up, and uh, I don't know. Did a picture, uh, did a, uh, like a teapot and uh, cup of tea go up, a picture of that? I don't know. <laughs> Just trying some new things. Oh, you saw the picture. Okay. Well, it, it must have gone on right when I said to schedule it. I didn't think anything would happen till the time I told it to uh, go on at 4.05. But then that doesn't make sense either because I wanted it to go on at 4 o'clock. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten all the bugs out of this yet. So anyway, I'm glad you're here. Everybody's here. Hi, Cafe Lily, Karen, my sister Sue, and Bumblebee. Uh you turned on, yes. Yeah, I came on, actually, came on at 4, 401. <clears throat> anyway, I had so many things happen today. Uh, at 2 o'clock, my time, Eastern Standard Time, just around a little after 2 o'clock, I lost power. My whole house went dark. Well, not dark, it's light out. But all the lights went off, TV went off, computer went off, everything. I lost complete power. So uh, I immediately, because my phone, of course, still works, I immediately called the power company or left a message uh, at my address of what that my power was out. And they, they immediately answer by text that they will be checking it and uh, they will call me or text me when it's, they have it fixed. So the first time they gave me, it wasn't going to be fixed till 5 o'clock, my time, an hour after now. But <clears throat> within 15 minutes, I saw the electric truck going back and forth in front of my house went up the road, and then a few minutes later it went down the road. So I knew they were out there. I didn't know if I was the only one that had lost power. I didn't see any lights across the street, but then it's light out yet, so I don't know if they'd have any lights on, even though it's cloudy and sort of dark. Um, anyway, oh, Sue? Where'd you go, Sue? <laughs> uh, yeah, you saw the cup of tea? Yeah. Well, I found out how to do that, but evidently I can't schedule. I can't go on and do that way ahead of time because that's when you'll get the notification. So I have to work some bugs out of that. Um. Yeah, so so the the electricity came back on. My power came back on uh, about three, a little before three o'clock. So it was out almost an hour. And it's funny. Uh, first of all, it was windy here, and as soon as everything went off, the TV goes off. There's no there's no sound in the house, and then my dog Dexter who is right there because I gave him a melatonin. <laughs> he was a wreck. He was pacing back and forth because he now could hear the wind, you know, outside. And it got pretty windy, probably why the power went out. So I gave him a melatonin, and now it'll kick in, and he'll sleep. 
<laughs> probably all that rest of the afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> oh, there's Sue. She's back. <laughs> yeah, so power's back on. Everything's good. But when I went to power up my computer again, at first, it looked like I had lost all my tabs that I had pulled to do this uh, What Sold video. Because I have two windows on Chrome open. One, this regular window, and one, you open a new window and you do all your tabs uh, from eBay and Poshmark. <clears throat> well, it, had looked, it looked immediately like I had lost that whole thing. And I thought, oh, great. I'm going to have to pull all those tabs again. But within a few minutes, a notification came up and it said uh, that Chrome wasn't shut down correctly. And then do you want to restore your pages? Yes. <laughs> so when I hit yes, then it all came back again. So all is well. Another thing that happened as soon as the power went out, and this is just mental, I immediately got cold. <laughs> Because, of course, here in the farmhouse, when you lose power, you lose heat, you lose water, you lose sewage, you lose everything. You know, everything's run by electricity. So, at least I had my garage door open. Because if it had gone for for a long, long time, say a day or two, I would have had to go out and charge my phone with my car running. And that's another thing. But these batteries in the new phones, they last uh, a long time. So I had plenty of battery. Yeah. Yeah, it, that was my whole idea. I thought that I have to... Uh, maybe come on at five to four and schedule it for four o'clock or skit, you know, come on, not at three 30. I don't want you to have to wait that long. I'll lose everybody. Yeah, it is a good idea to do that. Uh, I saw some really cute ideas of how to have a, like I, a clock that was ticking down with the time. I don't know how she did that. I don't think it was, I don't think that was through StreamYard. It was probably something fancy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I did find out how to put the pictures on. So I have all kinds of pictures I can put on. Anyway. Um. Uh, yeah, that was the whole idea is to have people uh, waiting uh, at 4 o'clock or 4 or 5 when I said that I would be on. Uh, yeah, so it, part of it worked for me. I just did sort of did it wrong. Also, when I got up this morning, um, I came downstairs. I was... Uh, I think I ate breakfast and everything. I was running hot water in the sink, making a, a soapy uh, container full of water. And I noticed on my hand, this whole knuckle, see it's still red. This was so red all around here and sort of swollen here. I don't know if you can see it. And in that area, I looked really close and it was like blistered, almost like it was burned. Now, I didn't do anything to my hand. So I couldn't understand where this came from. I thought maybe it's a bug bite or something, you know. So I washed it off really good and put some Neosporin on it, my go-to for everything. And... I put a bandage over it to, while I was doing what I was doing. And then I thought maybe it's not good to cover it up. So actually, I got my jeweler's loop uh, 
and looked at it really close. I took the Neosporin off and looked at it really close, and there were tiny, tiny little splinters in there. The tiniest little splinters, a bunch of them. And it looked like I had a reaction to these splinters. And I had had a splinter in this finger yesterday that I pulled out. And it was all red around it. Whatever this is, yesterday I was outside raking some acorns. And I thought I had gloves on, though. So I went and looked at the the inside of the gloves and I thought maybe there was something, a spider in there or something that bit me, you know. But then when I found the splinters, I don't understand how I could have got splinters in my hand if I had gloves on. I must have taken the gloves off. Hi, Estella. <laughs> uh, I must have taken the gloves off at one point and got something in my hand. It's just in that spot. So who knows? I don't know. It was a mystery thing. But it looks, it's getting better now. I, with the jeweler's loop and a needle, I got all the tiny little splinters out and scrubbed the area to get the rest of it out. I scrubbed it with an old tooth uh, brush. It hurt. <laughs> and uh, some alcohol and got it all clean and dried and everything. So hopefully it'll get better. That was a mystery case. <laughs> so what did I sell last week? Not much, I didn't even count them up. I sold two Poshmark items and the rest are eBay. So I'm not sure. How many? There's not more than a dozen. 12, 13, 14, something like that. Uh, last weekend turned out to, out to be a pretty good weekend. Uh, I had two spikes that went above $100. And uh, then the rest of the week was way down, like selling one or two things a day. And I had a zero day on, on Friday. So... I don't know. And I have started to uh, put some things on Mercari. I'm going to try Mercari. My daughter is looking at it. So far, she hasn't, she hasn't put anything on yet. And, of course, right now she's at the barn <laughs> with her horse. But uh, I don't know. If I keep at her... I don't want to nag her too much or she won't do it at all. Uh, but I'd like her just to get something from around her house and put a couple things on so she finds out how it works, you know. Because after you put a couple things on, it's very easy to list on there, just like it's very similar to Poshmark, listing on Poshmark. You can do it all from your phone, too. So, anyway, your Poshmark sales are very slow. You had three eBay sales. Yeah. Yeah, I had two, just two Poshmark sales, and the rest were eBay. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's go to the share the screen thing. Dexter is now snoring. <laughs> I'm glad he's calm now. Uh, so I'm hoping the power doesn't go off. If I disappear, that's probably what happened. But hopefully they fixed whatever was wrong and fixed it really good so the wind won't knock it down again, whatever it was. So I'm going to share the screen. <clears throat> Now, look at this. My first sale, this was on eBay, was one of these health and beauty things. It wasn't from a wholesale lot because this was from my own linen closet. I had gotten 
lots of stuff when I used to coupon. I, you know, used to cut coupons and go and buy lots of stuff. So I went in there and found some things that were brand new. I'd never opened or anything. And this was one of them. And this is the one that sold uh, this past week. The Olay set of two quench body washes and luscious embrace body wash. So I sold it for $24.99 and it went free shipping. And I'm just going off of what Lindy Glenn does with her health and beauty and her cosmetics and things. She always does free shipping and she just marks it up, you know, because this is heavy, you know, the stuff. So anyway, that was a that was a very nice surprise. Uh, but it did cost me for shipping cost me seven dollars and fifty two cents. So that comes off of the twenty four. 99 plus the eBay fees. I don't count what I paid for it because it was a long time ago. And I probably did get it at a very good price if I had coupons and bought it. So. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing is a uh, Poshmark sale. And this sold on Posh, uh, yeah, Poshmark. It's a torrid pair of red denim walking shorts. And uh, these were size 16. They were real stretchy. And they sold for $34. And I made $25 out of that sale. So that was an excellent sale of the torrid red denim walking shorts. Now, Bumblebee, I'm not sure anymore what you give me and what I get. So this, you could have given me these or sold these to me. I'm not sure uh, if you recognize them or not. But that was a good sale. Then we come to the sales that I sort of panic about when I don't get have good sales going on. So this shirt was an L.L. Bean men's large tall, and it was new with tags. But I took a best off. I had it up for $19.99 on sale for $19.99. Originally, it was $24.99. But somebody offered me $15, and I took it. So that was on the 20th, which was... On a Monday. So $15 and they paid shipping. For, oh, four fifty shipping they pay. So the next thing is this Brooks Brothers women's size eight button down long sleeve blue semi fitted shirt. And this uh Sold for the sale price of $23.75, and they paid shipping of $4.50. Uh, so that was a good sale. Oh, I forgot to tell you where this stuff went to. Uh, that, that body wash went to Port Ritchie, Florida. The Torrid shirt, shorts, the red shorts, went to Katy, Texas. And uh, the L.L. Bean shirt went to Homedale, Idaho. Now, this one went to Rio Rico, Arizona. Rio Rico. Okay, then we have this Tommy, uh, Tommy Hilfiger men's extra large long sleeve polo. Uh, Polo shirt. It was had the big H on the front, as you can see. It was a, a bold striped, and it went to somebody in Brooklyn, New York, and it sold for twenty five dollars, best offer, and they paid seven fifty five shipping on that. That was okay. 
And we get uh, this men's Nike golf shirt uh, in an extra large. Uh, I've had this a while, and I did take a best offer $15 on this. Some people seem to be, this week, seem to be offering $15 a lot. So anyway, I, I did take it on this shirt. It went to Alice, Texas, and they paid $4.50 uh, shipping. Uh, this Chico's collection, women's medium knit. This is a zip front, and it had a tie that you could make the waist smaller there. It was sort of a medium weight sweatshirt type material. And uh, I did take a best offer of $18 on that. And they paid $6 shipping because it weighed almost 16 pounds. And it went to Stores Manfield, Stores Manfield. Connecticut. <clears throat> and then we have the Harley Davidson, a little uh, like a tank top, uh, had a sleeveless top, I'd call that, and it had a V neck, but it had this beautiful monarch butterfly on the front. I thought this was pretty for being a Harley Davidson, just a little, uh, little sh shirt. And it had those little, uh, those were sparkles on the front. You can't tell because it doesn't sparkle when you put it online, but they were tiny, tiny little rhinestones. So the Monarch Butterfly also sparkled. And that went for sale price of $15.83, and they paid $4 in shipping. And it went to Vero Beach, Florida. The next thing is this Talbot's New with Tags Medium Knit Cardigan. This was such a neat looking sweater. It was brand new and it snapped, uh, big snaps down the front, which gave it a really neat look. Uh, so that went for a best offer of $25. And they paid shipping of $7.65 on that. And I've had that for quite a while because I had forgotten all about this top, to tell you the truth. <laughs> uh, and I sold a game. One thing that this uh, quarantine thing is good for, I have been sell I have sold a couple games. <laughs> this is the Guess Who game, the original mystery face guessing game. Is from 2002 from Hasbro, and it sold for $13, a best offer. So I did take that best offer, and uh, they paid shipping of $10.90 because I've calculated shipping on all the games that I'm not sure how to ship them and how what they fit in. Games are usually a funny shape that doesn't fit in any boxes I have. But this did. It fit in a regional B box. And they had paid $10.90. And the regional B box cost me $9.14. So I made an extra dollar on that, uh, on the shipping, which sometimes happens in a good way. Oh, that went to Troy, New York, the game. Went to Troy, New York. And Bumblebee, here's this Diletta top uh, and the Anthropology top that I sold this week. Uh, it sold, I had sent Offer to Watchers out for $18.77. And there was some mix-up that she couldn't, she couldn't, I don't know what it was. She, she couldn't get it to say, uh, 1877. So she sent me the regular price of uh, 1922, which doesn't make much sense, but 1922 is what she paid. And then I sent her back when, when I sent her the item, I just put a little envelope in there with a dollar because I sort of owed her a dollar. Not exactly, but... Uh, 
So I sent her a dollar and I sent her a, a, a little note. Uh, watch for the envelope inside your package because I sent you a dollar. So she was really cute about it. But uh, So that went to Winchester, Virginia. The top. And here's a Poshmark sale, a Chico's Platinum size 2, which is a large uh, denim jean jacket. Uh, now, I just figured, I didn't even look at the listing. I just figured this jean jacket is hanging upstairs with the rest of my jean jackets. So I went upstairs to find it when I went to pack it, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was getting panicky. I was looking through the solds and everything, and it hadn't been sold. And here, when I looked at the listing better, it was in a, I had packaged it up here. It was in the, in one of my bins. So somehow I got it in a package, but it did go to Austin, Texas. And it sold for $20. And, uh. I got $16 out of that for this uh, Chico's denim jacket. And here's a pair of jeans. These are tiny little jeans, uh, size 25, and they were skinny. And they were destroyed jeans with the cuts all over them. And uh, the person at the bottom took a little ways while to pay. I had to send her like three invoices. And finally, she paid. And uh, because she had offered $17 for these, and I took it. And then I got no response from her for like three, over three days. So, but finally, she answered, and they went to Baltimore, Maryland for $17, and she paid $4.50 in shipping. And then the last thing is this pair of Orvis men's size 38 cargo shorts in this khaki color. They had elastic on the back, stretchy waist. And I did take a best offer of $15 on these, which is, is low for those. I probably should have waited on that. But I got $15 plus he paid shipping of $7.55. And they went to Charlotte, North Carolina. So that is what I sold this past week. And so far today, I have zero sales. So I'm hoping that that will change. Uh, but you just never know. It just drives you crazy that how the sales just go up and down, up and down. But I photographed about half of the uh, funny the people the discounts people ask for. I know. Oh, the torrid shirt shorts were mine. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I photographed half of the uh, items you sent me, Bumblebee. And I have, I think I only listed three things so far. And I have the rest here from the half. And then I have the rest upstairs to photograph either later today or tomorrow morning when it's lighter. Because today's a very dreary day. Uh, yeah, it was okay. It wasn't the kind of week that I would like to have. But... I suppose anything is better than nothing. So, yeah, this has been sort of a uh, traumatic day, all this stuff happening, but hopefully everything is uh, situated, and I will try the next time I go on, I will try to do that uh, scheduling, and I'll just do it five minutes before and then schedule it, and then you'll just see some picture. I I don't know if you can put also some music. I'll have to look into that. I wonder if you can put a little bit of music with it, too. I'm not sure. But uh, 
what I was trying to find out was how to do a thumbnail, how to have a thumbnail before I open up, you know, and that's the closest thing I found uh, to schedule, to schedule your uh, live video. So I don't know. No, not five minutes. How long? How long do you think? <clears throat> yes, you can add music. Oh. I'd like that. How long before do you think I, it sh you should be notified before I go live? Longer than five minutes or shorter than five minutes? Oh, today was perfect? That was, was kind of long. I would sort of be afraid people wouldn't sit around and wait if it's, a, it's, if it's almost a half hour. Read up. Uh, just something that I can't shut. Okay. Nice uh, sales. You made excellent profit on the Poshmark. Yes, I did. Those were good sales. And uh, Cafe Lily's asking about your boxes. No, not if I guess you can have music. Today was perfect. You don't sit around. We're still doing stuff. Okay. <laughs> I'll make it. I'll make it maybe like 15, 20 minutes. How's that? Because that's about how long it took people to come in after I would start live. Uh, it would take at least 10, 15, 20 minutes. But you're still plugged in. Okay. All right. Finishing what you're doing. Yeah. All right, it gives me a good uh, feedback there. Yesterday was so nice outside. It was 60 some degrees and sunny, and I sat out on my teensy weensy back porch with, I rolled up my sleeves to get sun on me for some vitamin D. And uh, some some channels go an hour ahead, yeah. Like Rockstar Flipper. Well, everybody knows he's so established. Everybody knows he comes on live at uh, on Thursdays at nine o'clock. So, and then they talk. Then. When I wasn't here yet, could you talk amongst each other? Because I didn't, you know, when I opened it up, several people were here already. Yeah. Okay. You're sending me sun for tomorrow. Oh, good. <laughs> it's nice I can, I get your weather the very next day. Yeah, it's supposed to be sunny here tomorrow. I look forward so of the sun now. Because with all this stuff going on and being in the house so much, I at least want to be outside, you know. And I mean, you can tell how much I want to be outside if I'm at if I'm out there raking acorns. And that's really hard on my back. But I'll just do a little bit at a time. That's what I kept saying to myself. I'll just do a few piles and get them, put shovel them into buckets and put enough in the garbage can that they can pick it up and put, put it into the truck. They won't know what it is anyway because my garbage trucks have those automatic 
clamper things that come and clamp onto your onto their uh, garbage cans and it lifts up and puts it into the truck. So they don't have, nobody has to lift them. The truck is lifting them. So as long as I can get it to the road, I have a long driveway to get it to the road, but they wheel pretty good. So, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow and then rain for a couple days and then sun again and it's back and forth. But it is spring. You know, it is still April showers, I guess, out. I'm hoping that May gets brighter in all aspects. <laughs> yeah. My sister got her stimulus. Oh, maybe I'm not supposed to say that. I don't know if anybody's watching. Sue, sorry. <laughs> they said the uh, the IRS site is now open. They were they were fixing it because everybody was getting the same message that you couldn't see where your sti stimulus check was or whatever. But I listened to an to an accountant that's online that he's he's really funny uh us oh cafe lily got hers too yeah yeah they seem to be sort of coming now i haven't uh i haven't gotten mine in the mail and i haven't checked my bank account i don't know how mine will come to tell you the truth <laughs> but uh I thought it was going to take a long, long time to get actual checks, paper checks. But we'll see. I'm not sure how mine will come. Uh, oh, I can say it. Yes, my sister got her stimulus check. And she got a paper check. Yeah. Because her refund came that way. Well, see, my refund... I don't get a paper check. My refund goes toward, it just goes back in toward my uh, quarterly payments because I pay have to pay estimated taxes quarterly. So it just goes in that way. So I never get a paper, I never get a check. It just goes, I just don't have to pay for a couple times, or I don't have to pay f as much. Uh, I'm guessing you may get a paper check. <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I'm hoping, but I heard that s somebody said, somebody, said that the people getting paper checks won't get them for four or five months. <laughs> but that can't, that's not true. Uh, Sue keeps checking her and count because I expected to, it to come like Social Security. Yeah, I sort of thought that too. But I don't know. I'll let you know when I get it. Or how I get it. But there's a really funny guy online. Let me tell you his, uh, his email name. He's an accountant. If I didn't erase it here because I watched his already today. Hmm. He's a YouTube channel. <clears throat> it's he's called Clear Value. Uh, I don't know if that's his whole name or not. Clear Value Tax. And if you look him up on YouTube, he puts something every day on. It's not always about it's not always about tax, and it's all not always about the stimulus check, but. He is so disgusted 
He's so funny. Uh, he very seldom laughs, but he's funny. He makes me laugh all the time. And sometimes he has a girl on with him. Her name is Holly. And they talk about other things. But uh, you should listen to him and see if you'd like him. He's, he's fun to listen to. I listen to him every day now. But... <clears throat> Yeah, on YouTube, clear value, clear value tax. He's an Asian guy. Is that the correct term? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and he always has a dress shirt and tie on. He's sitting at a desk. So you have to listen to him and see what you think. But I like I like to listen to him. Uh, cafe you you uh, sell on Poshmark and eBay yeah <clears throat> I think my sister's the only non reseller here we tried to get her to resell she makes beautiful cards uh, but she doesn't want to do that. She's afraid it would make her make it turn into a job, and she doesn't want it to turn into a job. She just sends them to the people she knows and us and whatever. I have a huge box of her homemade cards, but she's gotten really good at it. And her craft room, her craft room is probably as big as this room, and it looks like a store. That's how much stuff she has. <laughs> You're going to try Etsy right now, but it's not very active. Yeah, my sister, see, could sell on Etsy. And I don't know if, I think it's pretty easy to list on, too. Nothing's as hard, in, nothing's as, hard as eBay. I think eBay is probably the most confusing to start with. Uh, I, I started long, many years ago, so you can't count me, but um, if somebody's just trying to learn eBay, I think it's kind of confusing to learn all the, all the different things about it. But... <clears throat> Sue, he says, let me put that up here. I can't see. I think it came in check form because that's how my refund came. I just didn't want to take the time to tell the account my banking numbers. Yeah. See, I don't know if he has my banking. I, I don't know. It's a mystery. Poshmark's easiest to list on. It is. It's very easy. And so is Mercari. Super easy. Uh, when my daughter went to, on Mercari to look at what I had listed, she couldn't find me. There's no way to look up a seller on Mercari. But I found a little workaround where it, where it has you enter the hashtags. You can enter up to three hashtags. Just put your name in there. I put Rockford Trading Company because uh, I didn't know if it would take my name or not. But it did because I tried it on an, another one. And then all she has to do is search by hashtag whatever you put in there. So that's the way to get around it. Uh, yeah. So... If you hashtag Rockford Trading Company, all one word, and the company is just CO, capital R, capital T, and capital C, <laughs> which I don't know if that matters. It could be, you could do all lowercase. I'll, I'll try it uh, and see if I can find me and see if it matters or not. But. <clears throat> 
in. So that is what I uh, sold. I've been on listening also to Lindy Glenn, how she processes. She had a box of all cosmetics. They were all Maybelline items. And it's, I'm not done watching it. I just started watching it. And she shows how she processes everything out of this box, this big box. So I am so tempted uh, to buy either. I buy from Wholesale Ninjas, that wholesale company. She seems to like a lot. And they seem to send the the best stuff. So uh, that's who I'd try first. I'd just try a small box. I think the smallest you can get is 100 items. <clears throat> and the more you buy, of course, the more the more you know deals you get because you have to pay shipping too on top of that. So but I'm so tempted to buy either a makeup uh, box or a you know a cosmetic box or a health and beauty box and try it be fun I think so I will uh, close for now I don't have tea like my picture showed I do have coffee here but now it's cold but Still good. So I'm going to close for now and try to get the rest of this these things listed tonight and then I'll photograph the rest of them tomorrow morning and try to get them out in the next couple days. What do you think about me ordering a wholesale lot? Would that be fun? It would be all new how to how to list stuff it would take me it would take me a while to learn how to list things <clears throat> you just study what I like and sell and try to send her that yeah I'm not interested in going large scale as people can get mean yeah yeah yeah, we found that out through poor Jennifer. <clears throat> yeah, it could be fun. It would be, I mean, it would cost me probably $200 to try it. And we'll and then see how it goes, one box goes. <clears throat> It would give me uh, just good things to slip in there in between clothing because I still like to, because I know clothing the best, I mean, how to list it, even though I'm not good at, at keywords. Uh, yeah, I could, uh, you know, in between the clothing, I can always, you know, do a few makeup or a few of the uh like the shampoo and that body wash i just sold that made me want to, to go order a box right away when i sold that <clears throat> well i'll study up more on the stream yard thing and see if i can put some music in there with the picture and uh how to do it and i'm going to close for now Thank you all for coming and waiting for me. I didn't realize it was such a long wait. But I guess if that's okay. Yeah, I'm starting with the smallest lot, but I think the smallest lot is 100 items <laughs> from them. Yeah. Eight in the chat today. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, Cafe Lily only has a channel to come here. <laughs> uh.
Okay, I will be back on in a day or two with something or other, and then for sure on when my Wednesdays. Uh, those are usually at 1 o'clock. If I change the time of the Wednesday, oh, wait, I have one more thing to tell you. You know, today, this weekend was the weekend that the guy that's supposed to finish my deck and that has my wood, you know, part of the wood for the decking, was supposed to bring out what he has. You know, he got mad and said he'd, it, I'd have it by this weekend. Well, it's not here. It's not here yet. He didn't bring it yesterday, and so far today he hasn't shown up with it. So now what do I do? What do I do if he doesn't bring it? I don't want to have to call him again. It's upsetting. I guess I'll have to. What if he never brings it? It's about $300 worth of wood. And the deck screws. <laughs> is the, He has those, too. Uh. Uh, Cafe Lily, it's it, you don't have to be brave to be on YouTube. You just have to start. After you do a few, you know, the, the YouTube videos that most people want to watch are people just being themselves. You don't have to be all happy. And my daughter has the same problem. She would be so good at YouTube if she just act her natural self. She's so worried about being perfect and uh, getting all dolled up to be, get on YouTube. And that's not, I will, I'll have to call Teresa's number and see if she answers. I hope she's not mad at me too. I don't know if my son would call him or not. I don't know if he'd do that. Uh <clears throat> okay, I'll let you all know by Wednesday what uh, is happening with the deck thing. But my son doesn't want to come out here unless all the stuff's here, especially the wood screws, the deck screws. I don't want to have to buy them again. They're very expensive. <sighs> Uh, I give him a bit more time, yeah. I really don't think they are nice people. I really don't think he'd steal my wood. <laughs> I mean, in my heart, I don't think he would do that. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I hope he's thought about it enough that he'll just show up some sunny day and act like nothing's happened and start working on the deck. That would be nice. Yeah. Like through next week, give him a chance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to close and I will be back in a few days. Hope to see you, everybody here back again. So, bye. <laughs>